Hello guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Now today we have the 87 rated base icon King Kenny. Cannot wait to try this man out. So if you do enjoy today's player review you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button and if you are new around here please do subscribe to the channel. Now King Kenny. I'm going to play him up top in a 4-3-2-1 formation. As you see I'm going to swap Mbappe and Mane around. Mane's going to play on the left here and get up that left hand side. As a centre mid I'm going to have Gretzka and Fabinho stay back, as I always play. Um, but yeah, we're on about King Kenny today, and he looks pretty fantastic. I've already played seven games when we got five goals for us this, so not a bad record. Um, one million coins he costs on the Xbox right now, so it's a lot of coins, lads. High beat and rate, right footed, four star skill moves, and the beloved five star weak foot. But I don't think weak foot is as bad as last year or previous FIFAs. It seems to be not as bad or not as. Um, Needed, should I say? Like Mo Salah for me is fantastic, and he's got a three-star weak foot. So, uh, and I've heard a lot of other YouTubers say the exact same thing. He comes with an abundance of stats, lad, doesn't he? Look at the state of that. The standouts for me, though, is that 93 agility and 91 finishing. Absolutely fantastic. He's got really good pace at 89 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. His shooting is absolutely stats. 87 attack position, 91 finishing, 85 shot power, 85 long shots, 86 volleys. And 87 penalties, so absolutely brilliant. His passing uh, could be a lot better. And his curve is only 81, and he doesn't have the beloved finesse shot trait. So is that a con? You'll have to find out by watching the clips. Now, as I was saying, long passing and short passing, not great. 79-54. Uh, he has got good free kick accuracy. Crossing and vision out too bad for a striker. His dribbling stats are all fantastic, lads. Uh, the lowest being 85 composure, everything else is above 85, absolutely brilliant. 88 dribbling, 88 ball control, 89 reactions, 88 balance and 93 agility. He also comes with a little bit of heading stats, 78 uh, heading accuracy and 77 jumping. 84 stamina, could be a bit higher but I am being picky, this is his base card lads. Um, and he's got shit strength and aggression at 63 and 68. He does have the outside of foot shot trait, but not the finesse shot trait, which I'm gutted about. But this card was his base card, and when he played for Celtic, but we all know this man for being an absolute Liverpool legend. And I'm not going to be biased in this review, as many of you guys know, I am a Liverpool fan, but I won't be biased at all. I'll give you my overall thoughts and opinions at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. So let's get on into the first game with King Kenny and see if he is any good and if he is worth that massive price tag of 1 million coins. Here we go into match number one with King Kenny and he's got Ronaldo and a Phil Fodinho. This is going to be a tough one in the first game of foot champs. Oh my god. Oh, down the leash. Oh my god, he ripped Van Dijk a new arsehole. And then it's the post. Very unlucky there to not send us in front. But showing great close control, great turnability inside the box. And unfortunately, it just hits the post. Oh, it's a great run from Dalglish. Can we get the goal? What the fuck is that? That was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Oh, it's lovely play. Great play, great positioning, just peels off Van Dijk and it's a lovely little left footed finish into that bottom right corner. Great goal from Dalglish, great movement, great attack positioning there to get the goal. Oh wow, lovely feet, he finds Mbappe! Wow, that was amazing play. Did you see the quick feet he had there? Fantastic. That's what he can offer, lads. His dribbling is unreal. Um, he just flip-flaps it past Van Dijk, I think it was. And unfortunately, Mbappe couldn't get the goal. Nearly got a good assist. But great play from him. So here we go into match number two. Easier team this time. He has got a cheeky Joe Cole, though. If you got him from your hero patch, GG, my friends, because that's amazing. I've got that shitty Mexican keeper. It was absolutely useless. 17k he goes for. Um, my hero pack was absolutely shocking. Dark leash. Lovely turn. Great save by the keeper. Lovely play. Great ball from Dark leash. His passing isn't actually that good, but that was a fantastic ball. Lovely play. Again! We can't get a fucking goal, but he can just shoot from anywhere. He's 70. Fucking passing, shooting player, and it goes in the back of the net. Lovely play. 
Come on, it's got to be Dalgleish. Beautiful play. Finally, that was a lovely play. And finally, we score. Cannot believe we were 2 1, well, 2 0 down. I was. I was playing so well, and he literally just goes up the other end and shoots from anywhere, and it goes in. It's absolutely ridiculous, this game. But Kenny Dalgleish is there to get a nice tap in. Great play. It was lovely build up play, though, from the team. Lovely play. Great play. Lovely assist from Dark Leash there. And we come out the starting gates in this second half. Uh, fingers crossed we can win this one. I'll be really pissed off with me though. Because it's literally shooting from about 40 yards with Hyun Wings on. It's going in every single time. Noya couldn't catch Corona in this game. Can we find Dark Leash third side finish? And that is where he's going to be lacking, lads. His finesse shots aren't the greatest. He doesn't have eye curve. He doesn't have the finesse shot trait. And that is showing, lads, where the finesse is. Um, so I would try and avoid finesse shots if I were you. Because eight times out of ten, they're not going in the back of the net. That'll please find space. Oh, my God. What is it with this man and it in the post? Oh, for God's sake. He's... I don't know what it is about the card, but his finishing hasn't been as good as I thought it would be, lads. Um, there, is, there is definitely a lot better finishes on this game for a million coins. So far, Fernando Torres, mid-card, is by far an out-and-out -out better striker. Um, he's more well-rounded, he suits the game better, and I'd recommend for a million coins going and getting him rather than this Dark Leash card. Not impressed at all with him. Really not. And now this guy's passing it around the back. And this is exactly why I hate this game. Some of you guys are just absolute scumbags, aren't you? Wow. I just, I've got no words, lads. Two games, two losses in the weekend league. And I haven't played bad. Huang Ming Son has just scored from fucking 50 yards every time he takes a shot. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So here we go into the third and final game. Can we actually get a wing? today lads I don't think we can EA are just fucking against us today but Dalgleish he's playing okay the good things about him is dribbling uh, his pace feels really good his dribbling is definitely the best thing about the card um, his passive stats I wouldn't say are as bad as um, they suggest but all in all he's just average and comparing him to other icons around a million coins I wouldn't recommend this one I definitely recommend either Torres or um, Henri for icons around a million coins, or even um, base icon Del Piero. He's got better passing stats, he's more of a creative player, he's just got more to offer than this Dark Gleesh card. Don't get me wrong, he's not a bad card by any means, as he goes for here, and he's got a score here, there we go. <laughs> he's not a bad card by any means, but there are better cards on the game than this man, is what I'm trying to say, for around the same price tag, icon wise as well. Um, <coughs> If you can stretch your budget, go and buy Mbappe. But, yeah, he's okay. Do I recommend him for a million coins? Probably not. If he was like 800k, I'd say he's more worth the coins for what he produces on the pitch. But, yeah, he's good. He's good, but he's not amazing. He's not game-changing like some of the cards that I have tried around a million coins are. I say that. Is he going to score two? Yes, he is. Quick fire. I've just been waffling on for like 10 minutes of FIFA, and he's going to score two goals. In the other two matches, he's done minimal things. And we do get a win here. We get a raise quit. And I can't end on that, can I? We've only played eight minutes of FIFA in this game. So we will go into one more, lads. And see if he can do what he's just done in this one. So into match number four. And he's got a lovely team. Uh, we should have done that Bernardo Silva, to be honest. I bet you he turns into an absolute animal when he gets his upgrades. Oh, lovely play. Come on. Dalgleish has got the pace, it's got to be. He moves the keeper and I just did it straight. I cannot blame Dalgleish one bit for that, that was my fault. But I can't trust his finesse shots because they're not great, lads. And that is one of the minor cons I do have with the card. He doesn't have high curve, he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, and his finesses are not the best. Lovely play. Can we find Dalgleish? Yes, we can! How the fuck has the keeper saved that, lads? Oh my god. Lovely play, but he hasn't got any strength there. He should be trying to run right on the back of him. But he's just running into him, and Kim Pembe just bats him off. Like, 
he's, he's not even there. Nice ball into Salah. I swear to God, his keeper is saving everything. Lovely play. Come on, Dalglish. Show your pace. Robertson is there. And he absolutely balloons it over the bar. If that was Omri, if that was Torres, he would have been away from him. And that would have been in the back of the net. But with Dalglish, I don't know what it is with him. He's just not as good as he has been in previous FIFAs. And he's not blown me away one bit. Um, he's good, but he's not amazing. And for a million coins, you want amazing, don't you? You can get Neymar, you can get Messi, you can get Ronaldo. And he's not better than any single one of them players. Uh, it really isn't. I've never been a massive fan of Dalglish on FIFA, to be quite honest with you. But this FIFA, I don't know what it is. He just doesn't feel amazing at all. He absolutely ripped Kimpembe apart, but there's too many defenders and he can't take them all on. But well, that was sick. So here we are at my overall thoughts and opinions of this Kenny Dalglish card. He's not worth a million coins. That is what I'm going to say. He's not shit, he's not great, but he's not worth a million coins. The rating I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. I just don't know what it was about the card. He didn't feel as good as previous FIFAs and it doesn't fit the meta for me this year. Um, I've used Ronaldo, I've used Mbappe, I've used Henri, I've used Torres and every single one of those players is better than this man. Uh, don't get me wrong, he's not crap by any means. He's not crap, but he's not great and he's not worth a million coins. Um, his 5 star weak foot is good, he does score on both feet inside the box. Outside the box, couldn't really have any attempts with him. Um, his finesse shots are a con lads, he's only got 81 curve and they're not the greatest in the world. I have noticed that um, compared to all the players like Torres who does have to finesse shot trait, they just curl in every single time. Uh, so you want to try and avoid those types of shots. But the main thing about this card I love is dribbling. He's fantastic. He's so intricate. He can weave in and out, sort of like a messy style dribbling, um, which was fantastic. That was the best thing about this card and the highlight for me. He's very, very weak. He does get pushed off the ball. like He's not even there from time to time. His pace doesn't feel that great either. Um, I think it's because we're using Mbappe most of the time. So, yeah, it's not the greatest pace in the world. And he does get caught up quite a lot. Especially in that last game, Kimpembe and Varane just held him off completely. He could not get past at all. Because um, this year, uh, defenders do seem faster or feel faster even when they've got like 80 pace. Um, so he, he did struggle, but he did come up with some goals. In 11 games of played total, he scored 9 goals, 5 assists, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I really do enjoy the card. But he's not the greatest in the world, if you know what I mean. I told you I won't be biased in this review. I'm a Liverpool fan, but I wouldn't recommend him, lads. I'd recommend Del Piero if you're going to go for an, a striker similar to this man. 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves. But he's got the passing. And he's got the more intricate play. He can play one two stuff like that. He can play long balls. And he's just got a bit more than this man has. So if I was going to recommend anyone around that price tag, I'd probably say go for Del Piero icon-wise. He's just got a bit... Bit better, bit more options than this man. Don't get me wrong, King Kenny, brilliant player, but he's not great, which some of the other cards have been. So guys, I hope you have all enjoyed the play review today. If you have smashed the thumbs up button, and if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more player reviews, and I'll catch you all next time.